Councillor Bill Uri to say a few words as well. Bill Uri, come on the stage. Thank you. Friends, thank you so much for inviting me here today. I'm delighted and I'm honoured. Um, I'd particularly like to say a big thank you to Bhuman Hussain, who has told me so much about what really happened in Kashmir. We're here today to commemorate uh, a national hero, Mackerel Butt, um, 18th of uh, February 1938, which was his birth. And I hope that that is what we mainly remember, because let us celebrate that life. As a British national, I am proud of this country, but I'm also ashamed of many of the things this country did in the 19th and the 20th centuries, and particularly in the subcontinent. I was 41 years since I actually graduated from what is now Coventry University, but in, in those years that I was there, I learned an awful lot about what had actually gone on, and I began to understand the reality of imperialism and what it did then, but more so what it still continues to do. Um, those days have gone, but the consequences have not gone, and a few stupid and bad decisions that were made in the in 1947 and thereabouts still affect people today, and that is awful. But we are remembering the life, and in doing so, let us see this as a symbol of, or Mackerel Bus as a symbol of what can be done with the sort of spark that can be continued for many, many years, and many people sat here remembering a very remarkable man. But I think also Kashmir should be a symbol of what big countries can do to small countries. And there are so many conflicts that should never have happened in the first place. But it is those countries and above all the people who live or should live in those countries that suffer. It is, I think, 1995 that I was on a bus somewhere north of Amman in Jordan. And I, the bus went past the Palestinian refugee camp. And it was then that the reality of what we have done to a nation really came home to me. Well, let us hope that the Kashmir dispute can eventually be settled. And thank you very much for inviting me here to speak today.